moving staccato, which was effective. When you got to your big staccato, you did more of a forearm staccato. So, and I'm not saying it's wrong, but I also want you to develop more of the finger staccato because if you go really quickly and you want to go even quicker, that would be very hard to do. Uh -huh. So remember my last video, I was showing traction like, and from that traction, I just snipped it out. with arm weight because that's going to be hard to do the forearm to do that and then when you do soft you're just lifting your arm weight off so you still have traction so you get this you fingertips the other one was fingers too but with more arm weight try that we're going to speed it up a little so you'll see that you are better suited to using finger staccato when you go quicker let's go back to a legato to get the traction okay at that speed okay and from there you're going into two staccatos So like this is fingers, totally fingers. Can you see that? So that's not forearm. So you're doing this. That's okay, but it gives a kind of a um, little bit of tense sound. I want you to get that sweep across that horizontal feeling, so that you use more fingers to cut in these faster speeds. So it's all fingers. Can you tell it's different than forearm staccato? So it's not this. That's forearm staccato. You see your hands going up and down. Your forearm is lifting off each key and delivering that weight. You just want to get a long line of fingers. This is pure fingers. The arm weight, the arm weight is all the way across. It's leveraged across the whole keyboard. Snipping out from that traction, each finger is snipping. Does that make sense? Okay. That's a lot better than lots of forearm, which gives you this kind of vertical, tense kind of feel across the keyboard. Now the soft one, show me the soft one. Yep. It means less arm weight, right? It has nothing to do with the fingers. They're still snapping. together for two octaves, big staccato, soft staccato, finger staccato. But you know what I would do? I would roll into that forte. Instead of a, the first note being really accented, I'd go This is what I mean. I'm starting a little under. Now I'm into my forte. I have a destination. That one. always roll into forte so you don't get it's a scale which is a slope into the scale right a slope in uh so the same yeah th think you're on the bottom of the hill and you're going in more intensely as you go up that hill you know?